In problem 28, we have an amount of fertilizer we're going to put out. 150 pounds of potash will be applied per acre. And we want to know how much element that puts out. So we're expecting it to be less than the fertilizer, because fertilizers can't be more than 100% of an element. And so we were expecting some number less than 150 pounds here. So we have our fertilizer rates, and PK, and we know this one is 0, 0, 60. And so we know that it's 60% K2O, but we know because it's given to us here that K2O is 83.3% elemental K. And so we need to take basically the proportions here. So divide 60 by 100, it's 0 0.60. Take 83.3% divided by 100, that makes it 0 0.833. Just converting those percentages to proportions. And if I make that multiplication, um, I know that my fertilizer is actually 0 0.500 or 50% K. So this potash is actually 50% K. That can make the math really easy. We could just take half of that, because that's 50%, but I'll write it out longhand for you so you can see the whole process. We're applying 150 pounds potash for one acre. And we know that for every one pound of potash, We have 0 0.500 pounds K. Okay. So that's our elemental rate. Let's see what happens here. Pounds of potash cancels here. So I'm looking for pounds of elemental K per acre. And that's exactly what the question is asking for. And so it becomes simply 150 times 0 0.5. Zeros don't matter because they're zeros. If they were other numbers, you'd need to write them. And that equals. 75 pounds potassium okay, per acre. And so this is our answer. Now, we always do that one final check. Did I apply more fertilizer than elements? 150 pounds of fertilizer, potash, is indeed more than 75 pounds of our element. So it looks like I did that probably correctly. So now we know how to calculate the amount of element that's applied with a set amount of fertilizer.